heroes. I want you to cheer for them and clap for them as if you really, really believe they are going to save our planet from every evil that ever came, especially since last election. So uh, let's ask for the passion within you to be released when you clap and cheer for our heroes. So let me hear a hero cheer. Ready, set, go.
adapted version. Uh, but since we are a comedian troupe, we took a few liberties with the script here and there, checked out the uninteresting parts. I think a couple of uh, characters lost their life in the process. It's okay though, it's okay, they're fine, they're fine. Uh, but we do enjoy you. Oh, wait. Holy cow, you're so wet, what just happened? <laughs> Mistress Mary Acosta. You mistake, Knight. 
A cross is to woo her, board her, assail her. I would, I would not undertake her in such company. Is that the meaning of a cost? <laughs> Fare you well, gentlemen. Oh. And let's out part of the lady. And I'll never draw a sword again, do you? Okay, you have fools in hand? Ah, I have not you by the hand, sir. Oh, but you shall! And here's my hand. Aye, <laughs> sir. Um, I pray you, take your hand to the buttery bar and let it be Good mistress, what's your metaphor? It's dry, sir. Oh, why, I should think so. I am not such an ass, but I can't keep my hands dry. <laughs> Tis a dry jest, sir. Are you full of them? Aye, <laughs> sir. I pray you, I, uh, marry, but I let go your hand. I am barren. Oh, thou lackest a cup of canary, sir. When have I seen you put so down? Never in your life, I think. Unless you see Canary put me down. I'll be home tomorrow, good night. Pourquoi, sir? Pourquoi? What is pourquoi? Oh, do or not do? Oh, had I just studied the arts instead of fencing, dancing, and bear baiting? Then I would have had a better head of hair. Why, but that mended my hair. Oh, that's the question. For it does not go by nature. But it comes me well, does it not? Oh, yes, it hangs like flax on a distaff, and I long to see a housewife take you between the legs and spin it off. <laughs> now, I, Sir Toby, I'm going to be going home tomorrow. Your niece will have none of me. The Count himself, hard by wounds her. She'll have none of the Count. I've heard it from herself, self from her lips. There's life in it, man. Come on. I'll stay another month. Ah, I'll be... I'm a fellow of the strangest mind, Sir Toby. I'd like uh, masks and rebels. Oh, 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 yeah, do too. Oh, you could have the kick shots at night. Oh, faith, I can cut a paper. Ah, and I can cut the mutton. But, uh, are you going to the galliard? Yes, and I think I have the back trick to simply as well. Oh, oh yes. Oh, fine, fine. Oh, oh such fine legs and thighs. Oh, yes, like oh, yes. yes. Much better than any enunciates of more bravers. 
Ladies and gentlemen. Divinity. Now, sir, your text. 
most sweet lady, your eyes are like deep pools in which tiny golden fish swim, and also tiny frogs with little legs and little hands. <laughs> frogs have little hands. God made them that way, but I find them deeply unsettling. Put you out of your misery. You have been sent. Yes. Yes. What, being a youth, will find that before? Typically, he sends an older gentleman, but I see you're a new. Yes, I am a new. And these words are his? Yes. The same. I think it is a new poem. <coughs> a new poem. But, uh, you know, he, he, he's very creative with his metaphors. Indeed, he is very creative with his metaphors, and that, young lad, is the problem. However, if you were perhaps to do the moving, I'm certain you would have better for it. Well, I mean, I did take a few classes in poetry when I was in school. Uh, uh, appreciation, composition. So I suppose I could give it a try. I've been very pra praised often for my metaphors. However, <clears throat> I'm a little new in town and I'm afraid I don't have the faintest idea what you look like. Uh, you, you, you gotta, oh, Ellen, oh, I, I, I am. I suppose it would help your views if you could see me. Yes, I would, I would say that's correct. Then I will allow No. You look, you look very nice. You're very lovely. I mean, if it's, if it's all natural. Well, of course, course it's all natural. <laughs> what else would it be? Well, you like to type. Like Two of Twelfth Night. Um, as you have seen, we 
we've got some uh, cross-dressing, we've got some improv, sometimes we meant that improv to be there, um, and sometimes, anyway, we've got some improv, we've got some great <laughs> characters, um, we're going to see now as we head into Act 2, how some of those characters meet some different beats than maybe you might expect. Are we all feeling the villain here? He's wearing black, he's kind of stuck, stuck up, you know? Um, anyway. We also have the Countess, who's quite beautiful. She's very beautiful, the mud regime. I've been trying it myself. Right. 
tinkers at this time of night? Would you make an alehouse of my lady's house? To squeak out your cosier's catches with no mitigation of remorse, with no time or voice? Time? We keep time in our catches. What well, other another stuff of wine? Snack up. So, Toby, my mistress bade me to tell you that she will not be allied with your misdemeanors. And that, although she harbor you as her kinsman, if you would be, if you cannot separate yourself from your misdeeds, she would be very pleased if you would, if she could, bid you farewell. Farewell, my oh, dear, it's oh, time to go. Oh, oh. Oh. It's always to show his days are almost done. Uh, it, 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 must so. I go? Well, and if you do, shall I make him go? This is much credit to you. No, 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 you dare not. Oh, but I will. I will never die. <laughs> Sir Toby, there you are. <laughs> oh, shall I let him go? Oh, I dare not. <laughs> I think we have established you dare not. <sighs> well, Mistress Mary, if you prize your lady's favor as no more than this, she shall know of it. She shall know of it by this hand. I'm the good guy. You've got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Go to shame your end! Well, it's good a thing to give a hungry man drink as it is to, you know, have a challenge to a man and then ignore oh, it and make oh, him a fool. A challenge, yes. I will write you a challenge and, and no, no, I will, even better, I will deliver it in person by my mouth. Uh, no, 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 peace to Toby, peace to Toby. Since, since the, the Count's youth was with my lady just today, she is much out of quiet. As for Monsieur Malvolio, let me alone with him. If I cannot gull him into a neighbor and make him a common recreation, do not think I have enough wit to lie straight in my bed. I know I can do it. I smell a plot here. Yeah? I have it in my nose, too. <laughs> what, what do you have in mind? I will drop into his way some form of obscure epistles of love, whereby the color of his beard, by the shape of his leg, by the manner of his gaze, by the expression of his eye, of his eyebrow, of everything about him, he shall find in himself most pleasingly personated. <laughs> I can write very much like my lady, your niece. On a forgotten matter, we can barely make distinction of our hands. Oh, oh I see. It is done a plot. Uh, I think. What could it be? Oh, most devilish poison. <laughs> oh, 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 my idea is definitely a horse of that color. Any other horse would make him an ass? An ass, oh. indeed! <laughs> you will drop the letter, mm -hmm. and, and it be he. He will mistake it for my lady's head, and he will think that she is in love with him. Oh, <laughs> oh fine. Yes. Oh, oh, 
Um, Sport Royal. Oh my goodness. The I will plant you two, and the fool will be a third, where he can see it, and you will observe his construction of it. If it not be the most ridiculous jest ever, you will not be able to tell me I have wit at all. <laughs> so, but for tonight, peace to bed and dream on the event. Good night, Sylviana. <laughs> she's a good witch. Oh, she's a big old, a good big old true, and she does care about me. I was adored once too, you know. Ah, well, let us to bed, Sir Andrew. Uh, yeah, but bye. You must send for my money next you know, on tomorrow. Oh. Jewel. And then Toby comes in to me and curtsies. Oh, God. And I say, Cousin Toby, oh, I extend my hand to him, quenching my familiar smile with an austere regard. Take it, put it, 
instrument. Cousin Toby, my fortunes having passed me on your knees, gives me a prerogative of speech. You must amend your drunkenness. <gasps> no! And you waste the treasure of your time with a foolish knight. Oh, I bet that's me. Many do call me a fool. One Sir Andrew. Oh, see, I told you so. <laughs> Oh, what employment have we here? This be my lady's hand. Oh, that This be her teeths, her use, and her seeds. Her seeds, her use, and her teeths. And thus she makes her great peas. Her seeds, her use, her teeths. Why? Why does that matter? Her very phrases to the unknown beloved. <clears throat> this to the unknown beloved. This and my good wishes. Her very phrases by her leave wax soft and the impressure of her crest with which she seals. <laughs> Tis my lady. To whom should this be? If it's to me? It's to me. It's to me. So, you don't think she'll mind if I open it for you? Jove knows I love, but who? Lips do not move. No man must know. No man must know. What follows? The number's altered. No man must know if it should be the Malvolio. I may command where I adore, but silence like a loop pressed knife with blood and stroke doth the gore. M O A I doth sway my life. M O A I doth sway my life. Nay, but first. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, who's the riddle? Uh, it's a good one, which I may command where I adore. Why she may command me? I serve her. She is my lady. Why this is evident to any formal capacity. There is no obstruction in this. And at the end, what should that alphabetical position portend? If I could make that resemble something in me, softly, M-O-A-I. He's on a riddle. He's on a cold path now. M, Malvolio. M, why, why am I? That begins my name. M, but there is no consonancy in the sequel that suffers under probation. A should follow, but O does. And then I comes behind. M-O-I, the simulation. It is not as the former, and yet to, to crush this a little, it would bow to me, for every one of those letters is in my name. Soft, soft, it follows prose. If this fall into thy hand, revolve. <laughs> In my stars, I am above thee. But be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. <laughs> Thy fates open their hand. Let thy blood and spirit embrace them. And to inure thyself to what thou art to be, cast thy humble slough and appear fresh. Be opposite with a kinsman, surly with servants. She thus advises thee that pines for thee, the fortunate unhappy. Daylight.
wine and champagne discovers not more. Joe and my stars be praised. Here is death, O spirit. Thou canst not choose but know who I am if thou entertainest my love. Let it appear in thy smiling. Thy smiles become thee well. Therefore, in my presence, still smile. Dear my sweet, I prithee. Thank you, gentlemen. And you, my lord. Do vous garder, monsieur? And vous aussi, votre souvenir. To you too, sir, and I hope yes, it goes well. Do you encounter the house? Um, my lady, my lady niece is desirous of your presence. 
Um, if you come on business to her. I am bound to your niece. That is, she is the list of my voyage. Oh, well, taste your legs. Uh, put them in motion. Taste my legs, sir. And my legs do understand me better than I understand what you mean by taste my legs. To move, sir. To enter. Oh. And I will answer with gate and entrance.
lodging, screw the night. I mean, first, let me tell you, feast was just sold out. Couldn't find any food anywhere here. It's crazy. And now, I can't find anywhere to sleep. What about you? That's like, come by. Stay the night, no big deal. Oh, well. Just 
the greatest swordsman in all of Europe. All of it. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Look, he's got a sword! I, uh, I feel he, oh, yeah. there is no, no going back on it, but he, he, he does say that um, he does not wish to injure too much. Um, and I would, I would say that uh, is there some other form of, of activity that you are... Oh, wait, hold, wait, hold, 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 wait, hold, yes, wait, 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 I have an idea. Have I am a great man at fencing. No, 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 I could never hurt this beautiful face, and now I know you will never touch it. never. It's my face. It's so ridiculous. But you might touch my hair, and I don't have such hair. I don't want to mar. You have such nice bone structure. It would be a shame. Surely there is some way. I will challenge you to bear painting. Okay, an idea, but I would argue that the bear does most of the work. Um, okay, well, you do have to lay the trap, but already you're going to just patronize me like that. How about dancing? The galliards! Oh, 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 I can dance. Can you? Yes. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to have such contest. We're doing the right way. All right, so you do your corner. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Coming to you from the east corner, we have Lord Sir Andrew Agufei. Coming to you from the west corner, in blue and green, in that really fine hat, we have Cesario.